If you can take me, are you kidding? A hell's Revenge, Hell's Revenge. You I know what Hell's Revenge is? I'll eat your lunch. <laughs> You'll break down again. <laughs> it's gonna need a new one soon. Yeah, you got a windshield broke. Yeah, a windshield's broken. About to get it fixed, but I haven't yet. I used the money to fix my transfer case because the yeah. seal busted, it drained down, and I drove it on the highway and just burnt it up. Yeah. Polaris, though. That's pretty awesome. I'll give you credit for what it is because my Uncle John called and uh, he was going to take my cousin Samuel out with him, go do some chores. I guess we're going to go get some cameras and stuff at his, I don't know, where he goes hunting. And uh, now we're arguing whether or not our, whose rig is better, his Polaris in the back or my Jeep. I told him I'll take him on at Hell's Revenge because that's definitely something I know I could, you know, sneak in because I have a little bit of experience. But he's convinced that his Polaris can outdo my Jeep any day. Talking about how you're dogging on my Jeep. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. I, I that's don't, a vehicle. Yeah, but that's a machine. But here's the thing. First of all, I can drive my Jeep there to the location, you have to tow it. And then I gotta take this to pull you out. I gotta say, was, no, you wouldn't have to pull me out. <laughs> Hell's Revenge, cause it's not mud, it's rock. Yeah. But, but the thing is, is it's, it's, not just, it's not just about uh, your vehicle's capability, cause there's people who have rolled better machines than that. There's people who have taken down full, just little Cherokees and stuff, and they just plow through, so. It's about who has the experience here. Oh yeah. yeah I cool. will destroy you at Hell's Revenge. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> I'll just it's really neat. It's only like four foot deep. It's all the way across. Get a better shot over here. clear instructions but I think that this is where I'm supposed to be I said I couldn't get lost I'm sure I could get lost but it would probably be my fault if I did by the way that's a really big beater just see if he's coming down this way low neutral reverse park okay so that's park I was doing it wrong this whole time it could have just gone well I guess that wasn't it time to keep going on the path Woo! He said I couldn't get lost, and I'm already lost. Let's put the speeder here. Oh, that's it. That's not it. Where to? I'm going to go down this tree line right here. Another speeder back there in the corner. Gotcha. Oh, 
deer stand over here. It looks pretty cool. It's that kind of place where I'd get eaten alive by a bear. Whoop! I'm slippery. Good. I don't know how much I trust being up in this tree. All these zip ties and stuff. And I'm fat. Still smaller than the person who set it up though, so I'll probably be okay. Look at those leaves! And the trees! Should have brought my Jeep down here. I could just live here now. I sneak in, they'd never find me. Just run over that tree there, drive through here, and park her right there. Plenty of room. Uh, I gotta get back out. I gotta get back out living the life in the forest. Yep. We got all the feeders loaded up. The sky's really pretty. And uh, my hands are filthy. They're probably covered in uh, lots of stuff actually. I probably need to wash everything I'm, I've been touching when I get back. One of the feeders got moisture in it and then it was just full of mold and it stunk, it was gross. No wonder the deer weren't eating it.